everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. So as always, I'm gonna start off my video with a disclaimer. If you hear snoring in the background, that is my pug Malcolm. And he is always in the background snoring. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not so new to my channel, welcome back. And today I'm gonna to be talking about something really interesting. So if you have been watching, then you know that I've been reviewing a bunch of different hand sanitizers, uh, all the way up from 62% alcohol to 75% alcohol. And 60% is the minimum required by the CDC. So we'll, we've looked at a range of different ones. Now, when I've talked about the ones in the spray bottles, ones that are more herbal like, uh, I had one with eucalyptus, one with lemon and coconut. I, uh, I told you guys that when I tested it, if it doesn't smell like grain alcohol, I don't feel like it's working, right? Well, are you ready for some grain alcohol hand sanitizer this is gotta be my thumbnail okay so this this is hand sanitizer one liter of hand sanitizer in a glass bottle that i picked up at the local supermarket a mom and pop supermarket local to my area and this is 80% alcohol. And if it looks like a liquor bottle, a bottle of moonshine, uh, there's a reason for that. The company that makes this, Faber or Faber, I think it's Faber, um, is a liquor company. And they changed up their operations to provide hand sanitizer in this time of need. So this bottle says, and I'm, you know what? I'm not going to open it. You t I, <laughs> I want to open this. I'm kind of thinking to myself, what if this is just water in here? Uh, but we're, we're going to talk about what's in this. And, and it says quite boldly on there, do not drink. So this is from the Faber Distilling Company, one liter, batch number 34, bottled on 42820 hand sanitizer alcohol antiseptic 80% topical solution made in PA brought to you by Faber Liquors non-sterile do not drink big exclamation point for external use only use only on hands Recommended formulation by World Health Organization. And then on the side it says, produced by Pole Bridge LLC, Pennsylvania, USA. 80% alcohol. Now, this says directions, place enough product on hands to cover all surfaces. Rub hands together until dry. Supervise children under six years of age when using this product to avoid swallowing. The active ingredient is alcohol, 80%, and then the inactive ingredients are glycerin, hydrogen, per hydrogen peroxide, purified water. So this was, as you might imagine, this was quite expensive at the local supermarket and it was not not flying off the shelves now when i first saw it, this was 19.99 so almost 20 bucks this is going to be my souvenir i guess of the coronavirus or to save in my stockpile of necessities for the zombie apocalypse um but this was displayed prominently when I first walked into the store. And when I saw it, I thought, um, I immediately thought it was like corn syrup or some kind of liquid sugar that, that they would use it like Starbucks or something. I know that that supermarket does not sell alcohol, at least not other than cooking alcohol or, you know, like those fruity drink mixes. I wish... 
you guys could see my dog snoring. Anyway, I'm going to show you a picture of what it looked like on the shelf at the supermarket. And I'm going to show you a close-up of the bottle so you can see the label. And we're going to look at the website so we can learn more about this interesting, interesting company. Did you ever think in your life that you would see hand sanitizer packaged like this? And I was thinking to myself, is this part of the new normal? It's like, you're okay, so you're not supposed to visit people now, right, during the pandemic. But like, when everything is all over and everything is somewhat back to normal or they discover a cure, let's say they discover a cure or um, a, what do you call it, a vaccine, and people are having like a celebration party that it's all over. Instead of bringing a bottle of wine, do you bring your host of your party this fancy schmancy, another great screen capture, this fancy schmancy bottle of Faber hand sanitizer. This is quite liquidy. Can you hear it? It sounds like alcohol, it looks like alcohol, and I bet you it smells like alcohol. So we're going to take a look at the website and we're going to look at some interesting stuff. Okay, so bear with me here. We are at the Faber, FaberSanitizer.com about page. And just in case you guys are saying, you spent $20 on sanitizer, you're not going to use you know, blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look at this. Amidst the COVID-19 national emergency, we, the team at Faber Liquors, have shifted our normal, our usual operations to produce much needed hand sanitizer in the same one liter gallon bottles we have been filling with spirits for over eight years. And there's a video you can watch of the bottles being filled up there. It's no secret we are beverage manufacturers first. So when the challenge presented itself to make massive amounts of sanitizer for those in need, we turned to our partners and used our existing connections and knowledge to create portable bottles for personal use. Simply put, our sanitizer was created in a time of pure adaptation with the recommended formulation re released by the World Health Organization. We have produced an 80% alcohol antiseptic non-sterile hand sanitizer for topical use. Do not drink. In addition to supporting first responders with hand sanitizer, 2% of each sale will go to support the First Responders Children's Foundation mission of supporting first responders and their families. We started this accidental segment of our business. When we started, this accidental segment of our business, our top priority was to produce enough supply to support local hospitals, healthcare facilities, first responders, and grocery stores. Now we are proud to be able to offer this product to you for personal use. Now, if you want to buy this on the website, they don't have that one liter glass bottle. This is what they have. It kind of looks like it's Gatorade bottles. Okay, not as fancy schmancy looking. So in order for you to get the glass bottle, you have to go to wholesale. And if you look at their wholesale, then you see the glass bottle. So you can buy this in whatever grocery store uh, is carrying it, one pallet minimum. Now there's a how to use section. There's a 43 second video. I don't know if you guys want to watch that. You can go and watch it yourself. Uh, so it says vapor hand sanitizer is liquid consistency, 80% alcohol antiseptic, but it smells like liquor. It says, keep in mind the formula was created following FDA guidelines, which calls for, which calls for no gels or fragrances. That's interesting. Use in a spray bottle or directly from the container. Our sanitizer is best used as a refill for personal receptacles to keep on your person when you're on the go. To use wet hands thoroughly with the product and allow it to dry without wiping.
For children under six, use only under adult supervision, not recommended for in infants. I don't see giving 80% grain alcohol uh, or alcohol antiseptic to someone who is under six or even six, seven years old. That seems pretty strong. Okay, guys, so this is a picture of the shelf at the supermarket. Now, the bottle is clear liquid, but because the label is beige, when they're all stacked up and lined up like this in front of each other, it kind of gives it a golden color. So that's why I thought it looked like corn syrup when I first saw it. Imagine walking into your supermarket and finding this. So now I'm going to show you a close-up of the bottle. That's what it looks like. And I'll just turn it around here. So completely clear bottle, one liter. And this is definitely, I think, going to be a collector's item. I don't think I'm going to be opening this. And like I said, it is, it is very expensive for hand sanitizer. I can't imagine spending in a normal circumstance is $19.99, almost 20 bucks um, on hand sanitizer. But like the site said, the money does, some of it does go to first responders and it is a nice little collectible and I do review these. And like I said, if the zombie apocalypse ever happens, I will be well prepared. Okay, so I'm back. I'm here with my very fancy schnancy bottle of hand sanitizer from Faber. Can you hear that? It's just, I'm dying to open it, but I know what it's going to smell like. So guys, I am so anxious to hear what you think about this hand sanitizer. Have you heard of it? What do you think about it? This is totally not sponsored. Totally a surprise. Hope it brightened your day. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just had that song shots stuck in my head, you know, like shots, 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 shots. And when this is, this is do not, do not drink. So I'm not going to be doing that, but it's just so weird. So wonderful. The times we live in. Yeah. Okay. So if you like this video, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.